Hi guys, welcome back to my XVS video. And yeah, if you have followed the official channel, then you probably already watched that we will get here soon. Okay, so on this month, September, we already get Dragon Quest Raid event. So on this week, on 14 September, we probably get here. Okay, they don't say about the exact date, but I believe will be this week okay because we haven't got story event for a long time so this is the perfect time okay so like you know that Hyo is a meta changing character if you are a veteran players I think you understand okay it is kind of like when Orlando a fable on the game for the first time so back then chaining is not that important but that's kind of change after Orlando become available and this is also same after Hyo came to the global then I think it is safe to say that the meta have shifted from dual build to double hand okay so I I know that double hand is really powerful from before okay but yeah Hyo really defined that Okay, Hyo is really good, but like I said, if you don't have true double hand equipment, okay, like Buster style, Elfrida, then maybe your Hyo won't be as powerful as he intended to be. But again, even if you make Hyo into dual wielder, I think that's still possible because what you want to do with him is to chain, okay. So I believe that after this week, when Hyo available in the global, many players will use Hyo as their leaders. So yeah, you will have easy time to find chaining partner if you have Hyo too. Okay, Hyo able to chain with Orlando, but Hyo able to use triple cast ability. So yeah, if you have Hyo, you can chain both Hyo together. Very good. Other than Hyo, you also get Shiatol and Domino. So Shiatol, I think his trust master reward is not that good. Okay, it has low defense and high spirit. And yeah, the only AOE magic tank that I remember is Bosch and Awakened Rain. Okay, so if you use both of them, I think you don't need this trust master. Okay, because there is impervious shield and if you get Bosch there's also his own trust master reward so I don't think this heavy shield is necessary okay and next is three stars domino domino is quite good his her trust master okay it is kind of like our talisman but it has higher defense boost compared to our talisman so it may be nice for your tank okay for physical tank but yeah I don't think it is that needed okay I will talk more about these units on their banner review like usual may probably tomorrow okay and yeah on this week I mean on this hero banner we also get two step up system okay so only Japan they only get the 11,000 lapis summon but on the global they give us 25,000 summon too, okay? So we have a chance to get Awakened Rain from the 25,000 summon. So I think that's pretty good, okay? Because Awakened Rain himself is one of the best AOE magic tank in this game. So even if you don't get here, okay, you only get Awakened Rain. So he is still useful, okay? This banner is one of the best banner ever made into this game i think okay so i think that's all about here let's talk about the other prediction i also believe that we will get seven stars awakening on this week okay so yeah on the past month we get squall and the first batch of seven stars awakening so i believe this will be the same too okay so on this batch we will get queen quite good okay her seven stars form is quite good for Ace, I don't think 
he is that interested okay he interesting okay very bad from what I know I'm not sure about Nick's but the only characters that interest me on this batch is the first is Ayaka of course okay why because she is the only seven stars healer at this moment so this make will make her really really special and the second character is Trenchterra Trenchterra is still one of the best mage in the Japan okay so if you have two Trenchterra you are really really lucky I guess the interesting thing here is Roberta from what does all say I think she gonna be very powerful character for a dual wielder okay so let's just wait I believe this will be very good awake batch awakening okay many many characters which included here are one of the top tier characters before like Tidus, Transterra, Riberta, Ayaka and Onion Knight not sure about the others okay so let's just wait what will happen on Thursday and on the next week I believe we will get another King Moog event okay because right now the Dragon Quest Moog event is a rerun so it is not a, a real farming event on this month so yeah next week I believe we will get it and that King Moog event featuring Ignis and Refus from Final Fantasy 15 on the Japan they also get bonus from Rayjack and yeah I don't know their name okay the the King Street or whatever collaboration but on the global it is still mysterious okay who's gonna become the second five stars based on this event maybe they will make a global exclusive character okay but yeah who knows let's just wait Okay, but I'm pretty sure that this will be the next King Mook event we will get because yeah, only Japan they get this before they get before they get Final Fantasy Type Zero farming event. And finally, the last week of this month, we probably get another raid event. Why you ask me? Because they have said about fan design unit. Okay, will come on this summer festival. So, I believe that it will be same like Japan. If you remember about Ukiyo and France, they are summonable from raid coins, right? So, I believe Global will do the same for the fan design units. But don't worry if you are a well, okay? Because I believe you can spend your lapis on summer version of the male characters of this game so we have characters like Seabridge Darfina mm, summer technician lead or whatever I forgot the name but yeah this time they say about yeah it is the boys turn so that mean last well rain and Nicole and others so pretty I believe the units will be pretty good especially if they are unlimited so if you have planned to summon Hyo using your lapis then I can say beware okay maybe they will make this limited units very very powerful maybe even more powerful than Hyo okay so just don't go too crazy with Hyo that's my suggestion for you at this moment try to wait and finally the last we also get ability awakening and three new trials on this game and yeah also i believe we also get uh weapon enhancement event on this month but i'm not sure when it is gonna be available maybe on next week like usual in the middle of the month but let's talk about the ability awakening i think the only characters which are useful are Misty, Lorraine, and Roy. The rest are kinda trash. Maybe maybe Duke is not okay. But like you know that his six stars form is not that good. 
so I can say it is bad so yeah Lorraine is good because her seven stars form gonna be one of the best seven stars in this game based on the Japan version so if you have two Lorraine congratulations other than ability awakening okay let's talk about the about the trials so yeah we get Marlboro and from what I know in the Ultima they suggest us to clear Marlboro using seven stars characters so I believe this trial this Marlboro gonna be really difficult okay not like not like scorn of two-headed dragon and brahium because yeah I think it is still possible to clear the trials using few seven stars characters but for Marlboro it may be not possible okay so the reward is pretty good Marlboro shield it has 50% 50% water resist and all status ailments so pretty good shield you can save your accessory slot from ribbon for chamber of indignant it gives you grand helm plus which is also very good especially if you have victor marchenko you want to boost his defense as high as possible and grand helm make it possible okay very very good helm I'm gonna do this definitely okay because yeah I'm kind of lazy to defeat Antenola because I don't think the reward is good okay who's gonna use that mace I don't think I have a character that use that so that's why I haven't tried to defeat Antenola but for this corn of two-headed dragon the reward is pretty good okay same for Brahim this chamber of arms the reason I haven't defeat Finder Matrix is for the first is because yeah lack of energies I use energies to farm on the King Moog and other event okay and also the Finder Matrix reward is kind of bad in my opinion I don't think I need dagger but for this one royal crown this is very good reward so I definitely gonna try this one okay so I think that's all you need to know about the prediction on this month. Remember that I said prediction, so it may be missed, but I believe it is about 90% correct unless they unless they try to be different than Japan in some way, okay? And yeah, they don't talk about the UOC tickets problem, so I think it's safe to say that we won't get we won't get to UOC on King Mug, okay? But I believe they said that we will get two UOC per month. So I believe the second UOC will be available on the summer festival event or something like that, okay? So yep, I think that's all you need to know. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Brave X Guide. Bye bye guys.